Welcome to Planet Huxley's Miner. This will be your first dive into the underground. And it should grant you a chance to learn the ins and outs of our operation here. In the mining planet of Hoxis 4, where only the carliest of Carls survives, we must unleash the power of a heavy shotgun for the gunner, which redefines bug slaying combat. Armed with multiple boxed rounds, this amazing weapon is a game changer on the caves of Hoxis, hopefully. Now this weapon that I really want to see the gunner to have has been in my mind for a long time. I envision a shotgun akin to the reaper gun of the Ogrins in Dark Tide or the Abzats in the Metro series. Now imagine the versatility and impact a shotgun primary could bring to the gunner. Now this idea stems from the desire to address the fact that I love shotguns and I want to see more, especially strong ones because I cannot handle the home defense blunderbuss of the engineer which I still love but goddamn I wanted to massacre a horde of bugs in a matter of seconds. That's why this concept should be in the gunner's primary. Anyways, now the stats. The stats are almost the same as the Warthog with a few changes. The damage is 8, the magazine size is 30, the max ammo is 180, the stun chance per pellet is 10% and it doesn't proc through weak points, you can proc it anytime as long as it doesn't hit heavy armor. The stun duration is 1.5 seconds, the rate of fire is 4, the reload time is 3 seconds, and your movement speed will go to 50% when you're using it. Now the modifications that I thought of are basic modifications that other weapons have. I'm not gonna write a script for this, so here's some pictures. Now for the overclocks. The first overclock is called Burst Fire, which heavily modifies the heavy shotgun's fire system and causing it to be stuck at the burst setting, making it shoot 3 rounds in quick succession, causing a slight accuracy and recoil problems. To counteract this, the engineers adjusted the fire rate and lessened the magazine size so that the user won't be able to waste ammo. They also supply it with cheap shells that causes more damage but at the cost of less stun potential. The second overclock is Frenzied Bullets. The engineers in R&D were inspired by the dwarf's vampiric skills and were able to use the concept of it and put it in the heavy shotgun. So every time a dwarf kills a bug with melee, this overclock will overclock the heavy shotgun for a short period of time. Now this overclock took a lot of space in the weapon and its shells just to be able to harness this power. The third overclock is the Reaper. The pellets used in these shells are made with a secret mineral that makes it pass through or ignore armor but it deals less damage and doesn't stun bugs anymore. The fourth overclock is Riot Control, a less lethal shell used for controlling riots or huge crowds and is specifically made to daze and scare violent people and it's finally going to be used against those bugs in Hoxes. Now the bugs are much more sturdy so the shell has a bigger gauge to work against them but at the cost of having less ammo. And that's about it. I have nothing else to add other than this 6x2 run of mine where the detonator spawned and ruined my night, trespassing my humble abode and destroying it, failing my run. So fuck you detonator you exploding piece of shit.